Well, that was painful. <laughs> hey, welcome back, family. So as you can see, well, first of all, congratulations to my um, Dipmas giveaway winner. I'm so excited for you to get the goodies that I have. So um, please message me on Instagram and give me all of your information, your address and everything so I can get your goodies out to you ASAP. Um, second of all, yeah. <laughs> so I have short nails on my left hand now. And I am going to be showing you guys how to do dip powder on short nails and also how to play with chrome powder, which is so awesome. Um, so I'm going to, you know, show you how I do my general application on short nails, which I know has been highly requested. Um, I don't know. I guess short nails are trendy these days. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but you guys are going to get to see that. And then later on, I'll show you how to use the chrome powder. And uh, it looks so cool, especially over black. Chrome powder and black just go so well together. And I am using Revels Barbara. That is the only dip powder I am using in today's application. So I'm going to go ahead and get prepped and um, start my application. But I want to tell you a little bit about what happened with my left hand. That's so short. <laughs> and I had to cut off. So I did an, uh, a set and I honest to God can't remember which set it was, but I did a set and I put on my peel off base coat and I didn't apply it to my whole nail. I applied it to, I'll say 97% of my nail. I left the free edge a little naked just because the free edge is always what lifts first when I do peel off base coat. And I wanted them to stay on for a little bit longer. I wasn't trying to keep them on for just a day or two like I normally do. And when I went to remove my set, like I normally would with a cuticle stick and I just pop them off, it must have had a memory lapse. <laughs> and when I went to pop them off, I perhaps was a little over aggressive and ripped some of my nails off along with the dip powder that I was trying to pop off. So I know I have asked you guys um, a while back if you wanted to see me do dips with tips and some sort of extension. And a lot of you overwhelmingly and surprisingly were like, no, don't do it. So I'm going to show you how to um, dip shorties on my left hand. I'm only going to do it the one time because I'm going to leave dip powder on my nails for, for a little bit, just to get them grown out a little. I'm gonna keep them pretty short. Um, I actually wind up cutting down a little bit, my nails on my right hand, just because they were getting a little overwhelming. And I'm not used to having long nails, so we're gonna keep them on the short and sweet side. But I'm gonna let you guys um, hang out and um, watch how I do my application. And I will pop back in here and there. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. As always, if you have anything that you would like to see me do, now that I have crazy mismatched, completely mismatched <laughs> manis on my hands, um, leave me a comment and let me know if there's anything you guys are interested in. And if, um, if there are a couple of you that want to see me do extensions of some sort, whether it's like a teabag extension, which I really don't want to do, so please don't make me. <laughs> I just don't like it. In an emergency, it's great to like fix a nail, but building a nail with a teabag... It's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> so if you want me to do something with, um, with tips, um, I'm happy to show you how to do that. Although, I don't know, I'm kind of loving the way my nails look short these days. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let you guys watch me do my application and um, I'll pop, pop, blah, blah. <laughs> I will pop back in here in a little bit.
Wanted to uh, pop back in here real quick just to chat briefly about um, two things. One is the um, cuticles today. They do see me working around my cuticle right after I dip into the powder. If you guys haven't tried this, I, I guess it's kind of called the toothpick method. I don't know. Um, you can use a toothpick or an orange wood stick or a very, very small um, dotting tool to go around your cuticle area after you dip. I'm telling you right now, huge game changer. It's gonna help you achieve damn near perfect cuticle lines every time. I mean, of course, if you're being incredibly sloppy and just lazy about doing your dip application, you're gonna have problems. But if you're careful with your dip application and you take that toothpick and you run around your cuticle line with it, just to clean up any little spots that you may have, you know, may have seeped further than you were trying to go with your liquid, it's gonna help you so much when it comes to having a cuticle line that looks neat and professional and very, very close to perfect. I do use my e-file still to refine the cuticle line and to really just blend that dip powder and make it as flush as possible to my cuticle. That way when it grows out, <laughs> like I ever grow my dip powder out, um, when it does start to grow out, you don't have a big bump you know, by your cuticle from product that wasn't blended smoothly. And you can do that with a hand file. I personally don't, and I know I've said this before, but I know I have a lot of new subscribers and I'm so glad to have you guys here. Hi, new subs, welcome to the weirdness. Um, but I, I do suck at hand filing big time. Like if I were to take a hand file and try to smooth my cuticle area, I, there'd be, it'd be like a crime scene. It would not be pretty and I'd probably get demonetized. <laughs> So uh, in an effort to save my skin and my YouTube channel and spare you guys the trauma, um, I am using my e-file all the time to do my contouring and um, the smoothing of my cuticle line. I don't know if you guys can hear background noise. My cat is trying to chase his tail on the top of the couch in front of the blinds. <laughs> He's still a kitten, but he's tremendous. So he makes a lot of noise. Um, so I definitely wanted to tell you about that. Also, Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder. I have heard so many of you guys talk about the Mia Secret Powder and how great it is. And it's so reasonable when it comes to spending. So I got this giant tub of it on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for it. I will find out and let you guys know. But I am going to, since I'm doing black nails with the black chrome, I figured what better way to test out the clarity of the Mia Secret Powder than to do it on this black set that I'm gonna do. So that's what you're gonna see right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. I'm gonna link it in the description box for you like I do everything, so you can go and find it if you want it. And um, I'll pop back in here in just a little bit.
So as you can see, um, and I realize I haven't top coated yet, and that's when you're really gonna see the clarity of the clear dip powder. But as you can see, it's pretty freaking clear. And spoiler alert, it's amazing. And it will now be the only clear dip powder that I will use ever. And you're gonna see in an upcoming video how I build up a nail on my right hand only using clear powder and I'm going to do I'm going to do polish on top of it which I really never do um, I don't even really <laughs> own polishes I had to buy one <laughs> because I don't have any um, so you'll see that in, in uh, probably my next video actually so so stay tuned for that um, if you want to see how to do a nail just a clear dip powder so you can put polish on top um, but now I'm going to get into my filing and shaping and I am doing my normal filing routine and I will be doing my normal e-file routine. I just use my hand file and it's my 100-100. I use it around the um, sidewalls and the free edge just to smooth them out and refine my shape, which there is really none of because my nails are super short and I really just wanted to make them look neat because they're not long enough for me to actually shape yet. Um, but then you'll see me do my e-filing and I will pop back in when we go to top coat and we'll talk about the clear acrylic because it's amazing and I can't believe I didn't try it sooner. Uh, maybe I'm stubborn, who knows? <laughs> so stay tuned, I'll be back in a little bit and um, yeah, we'll talk about some chrome powder. And again, just as a reminder, everything that I use for the most part is either in the description box as it is or if I can't find it, I mean, a lot of you guys asked me about the um, e-file tip that I use to do my contouring and smoothing. I got that e-file tip, or bit rather, with my Nat Plus e-file, but I will link a diamond set in the description box that I think is probably a really good dupe, and the whole set is less than like six bucks, so it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys finish watching, and I'll be back here in a little bit.
wanted to create back in here um, just to let you guys know um, because I use gel top coat I do not typically buff the surface of my nail just because you want a rougher surface for gel top coat to hang on to typically um, because if you don't if you smooth out your nail really really well and you put gel top coat on top of it it'll probably peel however I find that really really dark colors like black or dark blues or dark greens when you file or use your e-file you can see very distinct lines of demarcation like file lines you know um, in darker colors so I do always buff over the top of my nails if they're super dark like the black um, just to eliminate seeing some of those file lines after you top coat. So just wanted to pop back in here and let you know that's what I was doing. So um, I'm going to finish up buffing all of my nails and I'll be back literally in like two seconds. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you how to do this chrome powder stuff. So I'm using my Model 1's glossy top coat that I got in the set of three. It came with the glossy, the matte, and the base coat. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So uh, the chrome powder also, I got it as well on Amazon. It came in a set of two, and I will leave that link below as well. I have found this chrome powder to be outstanding. I have some that I've tried in the past that were kind of like, meh, wasn't really crazy about them. This one I really, really liked. So I'm going to explain to you how to do this. It's so easy and the, the uh, holy brain fart, <laughs> the results or, you know, the, the finish, whatever, is just so stinking cool, especially when you combine it with the black, which I'm going to just, I'm leaving two nails black and three nails chrome. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to top coat one of my nails, just like I would if I was top coating regularly and finishing. I'm going to cure it for only 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to take my finger out. I'm going to rub the chrome powder on. I'm going to gently dust excess off around my skin and my cuticle. And then I'm going to top coat again to seal it in and bake it for a full minute. So that's what you're going to see me do here. I'm going to do, um, all my chrome nails first and I'm doing three of them. I'm doing my thumb, my pointer, and my pinky with the chrome and then my middle and my ring I'm going to leave kind of as accent nails and I'll put some bling on those as well. So um, stick around, watch me do the chrome powder and I will be right back.
So what do you guys think about that chrome powder? I think it's amazing. And you'll see a side-by-side -side of the chrome that I did next to just the glossy black um, dip powder. Um, so you get a better feel for the difference between the two. But for, um, for my two accent nails, I'm gonna do some bling. And I am obsessed with the Swarovski, Swarovski, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> these crystals. And I find them pretty readily available at Michael's and at Hobby Lobby. You can also probably find them on Amazon. Um, and they have so many different ones to choose from. Um, I'm using, they're almost, I wanna call them like black crystals, but I don't know, they pull a different color against the black nails. They almost look clear. You can use clear, you can use whatever color you want. Um, but I'm gonna do just a very, very simple gem design on my two accent nails. And I know most of you have probably seen me do bling application before. So if you do, feel free to skip through this. Um, if you just want to watch it again, feel free to watch it again. Or if you're new, this is my foolproof trick to get bling to stay on for a really long time. So um, I'm going to let you guys watch me do my bling application and I'll come back at the end and we'll chit chat about a couple of things. So stick around and I'll be right back. So now that I've cemented my bling down into my top coat, I'm just going around the outside of the stones again with the top coat. And this just seals in whatever gap there might be between the gem and your nail because your nail is curved, the gem is flat. So there is some micro space there that I fill in with the gel top coat and then I cure for another minute. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what do you think of this look? What do you think of my short nails? <laughs> and what do you think of the chrome powder and the Mia Secret? We talked a lot today about some different stuff. Um, so you're going to have to let me know your thoughts and your comments and your ideas. I want to hear all of it. Um, wanted to remind Mel, Mel76, Mel176, just 
um, DM me on Instagram. So I have all your info and I can send out your goodies because if you don't, I have to pick another winner (laughs) and I'm lazy. Um, So make sure to do that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cure these nails for another full minute just to make sure that gel top coat is totally dried. And I'm going to show you what the finished photos look like. I actually really like my nail short. I I didn't think I would. I thought I was going to be super sad, but I kind of like them. So I will see you guys in the next vid. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.